Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. If we're already friends, thanks for stopping back by. If you're new here, I'm Sarah with Jujube Crafts and More. Today I'm joining a Dollar Tree Mimi's World in a blue Christmas collab. Make sure you check out her channel. She does amazing DIYs and has lots of Dollar Tree visits and Dollar Tree hauls. Also, make sure you check out the playlist listed in my description box down below and go visit all of the creators who've done uh, something for this collab. I'm sure everybody will have amazing DIYs for this Blue Christmas collab. So let's get started with our first DIY. We're gonna take one of these Dollar Tree gold, and I quote unquote gold bells, and we're just gonna uh, disassemble it. Take that little ring off and then take the beautiful decorations off the top. After that, we're gonna take some gesso and we're just gonna paint that right over the top of the bell to prepare it for the acrylic paint that I'm gonna put on it. You could probably use chalk paint for that step and it would work out just fine. Next, I'm gonna take this blue paint and I'm gonna paint the entire bell blue. So I kind of wanted, my idea was to kind of make it like uh, galvanized, but blue galvanized. I know there's no such thing, but I thought that I would take the same steps and do that same process, but with blue paints. So I started with a mid-tone color, and then I am using a bit of a makeup sponge that I bought from the Dollar Tree in a dark blue color, and I'm gonna sponge that all over the entire bell, and then I'll go back with a light color and I'll keep going back in between those two colors until I'm satisfied with the final outcome. I do add in some of that mid-tone to even it out. Once I kind of get it to a color I like, I am gonna take a light blue shade and I'm gonna mix it with some silver paint, just so I've got a little bit of shimmer on the very outside part of my bell. And again, I'm just gonna take a makeup sponge and I'm just gonna dab that all over the bell. And you'll see that I go back in with the darker colors and just tone that down a little bit. Now my blue bell is gonna have a little bit of rust, so I'm taking this nutmeg brown and a dry brush, and I'm just gonna use that color in all of the little crevices and creases on this bell. I had to laugh because when I asked my oldest daughter what she thought of it when it was done, she's like, it looks like a grenade, <laughs> a blue grenade. And I was like, oh, sweet heavens. Okay, well, it does kind of look like a grenade if you look at it closely, but. In the end, I think it turns out pretty good. So just keep with me here and uh, wait until the final result. So I wanted to tone it down a little bit more. I grabbed some black and I'm really just kind of using this makeup sponge and I'm just dragging it over the bell a little bit. Just kind of roughing it up, making it look a little dirty and distressed and old. And I actually like the way that this turned out. So we gotta do the ring, the little topper, I guess, the handle. <laughs> that would be what it is, <laughs> the handle. So I'm taking these side cutters and I am just clipping off that top plastic loop. And then I'm gonna take my jute string, also bought from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna hot glue the very end and I'm just gonna wrap this jute twine all the way around the entire handle. Once that's complete, I'm gonna do the same for the top of the bell, I'm just covering that gold color up with the jute twine. And as I get to the top, I'm going to start bringing the twine in to create the top of my bell because the original bell was just kind of an open weirdness at the top. So I'm just gonna wrap that twine around until it gets smaller and smaller. But before I close it up, I wanted to add a bell on the inside of my bell 
right? That makes sense. And so before I completely cover it up or close it up, I'm going to take the end of the twine and I'm going to feed it through uh, that center circle, which you'll see here in a second. So it got a little bit stuck at the top here. So I just grabbed some needle nose pliers that I have on my cart and I just grabbed that twine on down, just pulling it down. And then I'm gonna continue pulling it through, but not super tight. I don't want the whole thing to collapse on me. And then I'm just gonna secure it up with glue. Next, I'm gonna take a lighter and I'm just gonna burn off all those little frayed parts on the jute twine. You totally don't have to do this if that's not something you like. So I wanted to dress this little bell up. I'm taking a couple of different types of greenery that I bought from Walmart, the boxwood, and then this other one with the little berries on it. And I'm just gonna double those up, hot glue them together, and I'm gonna make two of those. And there was a little bit of bulkiness there, so I'm just taking those side cutters and I'm just gonna trim that off so that it's a little more neat. And uh, I did that to this set before I glued it. So then I'm going to hot glue both of those little mm, greenery bits to the top of my bell. And then I found this little flower that I had in my stash from the summertime. So I added that and then added a couple little berries in there. Next, I'm going to add a bell, just one of the Dollar Tree bells, to the inside of my bell so that it actually makes a bell noise. So she's not a total Betty, but it's a vast improvement. If you know what movie that's from, you get a thousand points. Here's a look at the final bell. I actually like how this turned out. DIY number two. We're gonna take a couple of these foam cones from the Dollar Tree and some fabric. I was gifted a huge box of fabric from a very lovely friend. And these were two fabrics that were in there. This one is blue with these beautiful silver shiny snowflakes on it. So I'm just gonna wrap that around. I cut it in about, I don't know, it's probably two and a half to three inches wide. And I think I would have cut it a little bit smaller if I was gonna redo this. But I just glued it down and then just tucked in. So because it's a cone, it's gonna bulk out at the very top, if that makes sense. So I was just using my hot glue to kind of tuck it in and form it to the cone. So I'm just gonna keep doing that until the whole entire cone is covered up. And actually you'll see here in a second that I run out of fabric before I get to the top. So what I end up doing is I hot glue the fabric down all the way and then I'm gonna grab a new piece of fabric. But before I put it on, I'm going to just turn over that edge and hot glue it so that it's a little bit nicer, it doesn't fray. And then I'm gonna continue wrapping. And to finish it off, I'm gonna do the same exact thing with folding the edge over. Just hot glue it. And then once everything's secured to the base part of your cone, you're just gonna tuck in the top there with your hot glue. So just tuck and glue, tuck and glue until it's laying down on the very top of the cone. So I wanted to add a little something to my tree. So I'm taking two of these wood snowflakes and I'm just 
putting a light coat of white chalk paint on them. Then to stick, oh yeah, I forgot this part. Um, I decided to put some of these white berries around this tree. So I just tucked in one end at the top and then wrapped it around and tucked in the bottom. Next, I'm gonna place my pine, or no, good heavens, my snowflake onto a skewer. And that's how I'm going to stick it into my tree for the topper. So with this next fabric, I cut it smaller, but it also has a nice give to it. It's almost like a knit fabric. And so even though it is like a faux velvet, it pulls really super nice. And this formed the cone perfectly. It was like a dream. So I'm just gonna wrap it around, tuck in the top, just like the last one. And then I had some of these little snowflake buttons. They're actually buttons, even though they don't look like buttons, but they're sold in the button section at Walmart. And I had bought these a few years ago. Um, and then I also wanted to add a little something else besides just those snowflakes. So I'm taking a straight pin with a pearl end to it and a larger sequin. This is just a clear holographic sequin. And I'm just going to add snowflakes and the sequins with the straight pins. Just be careful if you have long straight pins at the top of your cone that you don't poke through to the other side. So you just want to go down at an angle if your uh, straight pins are a little bit longer at the top. And you definitely don't want to poke yourself because that would hurt. And then I'm just gonna add that snowflake right to the top with some hot glue. And here's a look at how these pretty little trees turned out. I'm in love. Now for DIY number three. I'm just gonna take one of these four by six um, canvas boards and I just marked the center there so that I could place my, my middle button exactly in the center. And then I picked out some buttons from my stash in blues and I'm just going to build a snowflake onto this little canvas. So I just planned it out how I wanted it and then I hot glued everything down. Next I'm going to take some of this snowflake paper and I'm just going to cut it down to a 5 by 7 size because that is the size that my frame is here. And I'm just gonna insert that paper right into my frame. And then I'm gonna close it back up. And then I'm gonna add just a couple little dots of hot glue to the back of my uh, canvas piece here. And I'm just gonna adhere that right to the front of this frame. Now you can use a lot more glue than I did if you wanted to make this a permanent piece. However, I probably will reuse this frame at a different time. And it's so simple and so easy and just a very beautiful piece. And now for DIY number four, the last DIY we have today. I found this adorable bag at the Dollar Tree and so I had to buy it, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to frame it. I loved that side gingham buffalo check pattern that was on the very side of the bag too, so I cut some of that off, and I'm gonna incorporate that into my picture here. So I'm just using my paper trimmer to cut it down to a size I like. And then I'm gonna cut this middle piece down to so I measured the main piece and then I just am making sure that I have wide enough pieces to cover the, the inside of the frame. So I ended up cutting the, my width of my main piece was six and a half. And so I cut each one of these at like an inch and a quarter. And this is just an old Dollar Tree frame. I've had it for a lot of years and had different pictures in it. 
And this is a picture of my sweet 12 and a half year old. She's on the right. So anyhow, reminiscing. Uh, I'm just gonna take those side strips and I'm just gonna place a little tiny bit of hot glue in there just to kind of secure it down. And then I'm gonna put my main piece directly in the middle. I'll put it all back together. And this super simple, super adorable, super easy DIY is all ready to display on your shelf. So here's a final look at how everything turned out. I am in love with these blues together. I think it is gorgeous and beautiful. I really never thought I liked blue that much, but when I look at all my crafting stash stuff, I have more blue things than I have any other color. So I really must love blue. So leave a comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite. If you liked this video, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I am so grateful and thankful for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and a merry, merry Christmas and happy holidays. And P.S. Don't forget to go check out A Dollar Tree Mimi's World and the playlist down below. Thank you so much for being my friend and for supporting me here on YouTube. It really, really does mean a lot to me. If you made it this far, leave me a star in the comments down below so that I know who has made it to the end. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later. Have a super awesome, healthy, happy day. Bye!